Hello everyone, hope y'all are good. Today I'm showing you my everyday routine. This is just what I do, what I like. I really love my day to day look and I've kind of like tapered everything to what I need. I really do hope it helps. I know like navigating your complexion, what works for you is one thing, but also making it last and look good, that's something. So I hope this helps. So, I have to work tonight. Where the hell are we? I took a later shift so I could do my everyday routine and share that because I feel like I have a bunch of time for like more dramatic looks and I do my makeup every day and people seem to like it. So I'm gonna walk y'all through it. I prep my skin with like a heavy cream. I used the CeraVe. Even though I'm oily, I'm pretty calm though. I like the feeling of like my skin being protected and coated in something. Otherwise, it does start to feel dry. Then I took that eye cream and for a while I thought it, there was really no purpose but I'm starting to see my under eyes look creasy these days so it's a nice addition it really just helps conceal it look smooth and I use this tart primer it's pretty dense a lot of people like the Tatcha one but I find that one the fragrance irritates my skin and also it's a lot more slick if you're really oily or have areas you want a primer to fill this one's probably the best for that I also have heard that the NYX glitter primer, I've been doing this lately, that it's good for areas where foundation tends to break up. Like for me, that's gonna be around my mouth, my nose, upper lip, which always ends up getting crepey eventually. I don't know how to fix that. Let me know. Life hacks. Also, kind of around my nose. I'd say this is similar to the Tarte, but it just has a lot more stickiness to it. But it doesn't have the smoothing effect, so that's why I like to use both. This is perfect for like, when you do have creases, your skin settles. So even if you smooth the thicker primer like the Tarte over it, doesn't mean product is actually gonna like be super smooth if those lines are like pretty like creased naturally. So this kind of helps like right here always always creases someone want to pay for my botox let me know and if you're more dry i'd be weary of this kind of stuff use it sparingly because it can make your skin look creepy if you're using like thinner products it just depends it's a fine balance and i look so fucked up but like i said i'm extremely oily and i'll be wearing my makeup like right now it's 11 o'clock i'll be wearing it till like 11. i got a long day i don't like touching up except for blotting i like a lot of the coverage to be there easily i don't want to have to build it up each day i don't have the energy i don't care but i also want to look good so i've used a fair amount of stuff if you are oily and you have like clearer skin and you want something sheer i'd say the fenty is really nice i've talked my shit about the fenty but I've understood I guess now when you play with matte foundations there's a certain way to go about it you know so yeah I really like the Fenty if you want to sheer look something light skin like but for me the best thing that gives me the coverage that holds is the Superstay from Maybelline I'm almost out I use 312 <laughs> wears very skin like looks really graceful really clean walmart haul i got this at walmart yesterday I saw fenty came out with like a buffer brush and i wanted one too so my first step i'll always use a brush kind of to distribute the product then i'll go back with the sponge oh damn this is so not the order i actually go though i actually normally conceal first i'm done like I said, for every day, I don't really want to have to work a foundation up. Because I barely even want to be wearing makeup, you know what I mean? And then with the foundation, I always take it down my neck. I mean, like, we're human. Unless you're like Desi Perkins or something, there's not going to really be so much consistency between your body, your neck, like every area of your face. So you kind of have to find what you prefer at work. You do see my neck, and that's about it. So I make sure to kind of take this back. When I was younger, I used to just think dragging down powder was enough, but powders are way more sheer than like your foundation. And you definitely don't want to notice midday that like your neck's another color. But like I was saying, I normally actually go in with my concealer first and let it sit. I just want 
the coverage to be there and I don't want to have to fuss with it much especially with matte products you kind of learn blending the way you would with something super creamy just is time consuming and then the product will just tug at your skin and it'll be not cute but for every day I love the shape tape from Tarte it's easy coverage and this has to be like the best wearing matte concealer I've ever used and it's not too brightening but when I leave this down first and let it sit down a bit and then I go over with my foundation and just like kind of stipple on the edges and over it a bit it's just easy coverage and i don't move around the coverage too much but i messed up but yeah for the most part i kind of work in sections so like i'll graze over with a big brush on my face um but for more detail like i kind of do carve out my nose a little bit and then do take a little bit more notice for my forehead since it's pretty small and like immediately I know I'm not gonna want a lot really on my forehead. I took a little of the foundation and I'll blend with the concealer. Make sure it kind of blends into the hairline. And the color for the shape tape I use is medium. So that just barely brightens a little bit. It's easier for every day that way. Otherwise I'd be here blending for too long. I'm gonna bronze with the Makeup Forever Stick in Y445 and I'll let my concealer still set down but with that same smaller brush I'm gonna sort of blend out the concealer from my nose and sort of shape out my nose a little bit with the Y445 I am oily but I do use a good amount of powder I just like the way this looks over areas that might be more textured like my nose and if I don't want to worry about a whole bunch of you know blending with something a lot more deep on my nose this is just like an easy way to give some dimension if you want dimension on your face not everything has to be so stark or dramatic and like what i love about the makeup forever foundation it's super easy to blend and when you're combo if you have areas with dryness really just it's very gentle over them a lot of the coverage very easily with the matte and it sets down quick if i'm gonna do more layers i'll kind of stamp like i did with this to like bronze a little bit but with my everyday face everything kind of overlaps so i don't mind taking it over the edges of the concealer it all kind of And like I said before, with mattes, you don't really want to disrupt what's going on. Just dipple, press everything in. This also helps remove some excess product because if you are oily, there's no need for extra product on the skin. It's fucking hot in my room. So before I set everything with powder off camera, I was still blending with the beauty blender because I'm very, like, I don't have good eyesight. So had to get all up in there. Normally I go in with my banana powder from Fenty which you don't understand. So beautiful. But I'm waiting until the 15th to go shopping at Sephora for like the Jackie palette, Fenty foundation, a new powder. So in the meantime I'm making do the Maybelline light medium fit me powder. Again I've talked shit about this one. I think the finish on the skin mm, if you wanted a drugstore powder it's okay. It brightens a slight bit, like it blurs, and it's kind of nice if you wanted like a full, full glam look. But the Fenty is such like a delicate light powder, gives you like a little wash of brightness, but the finish, like how fine the powder is, it's just like one of a kind. I miss her. Since using it and like running out, I've been trying to substitute it with like the Laura Mercier, this, like. It just doesn't do it. So this will be like my first initial setting and you always want to be sure. I mean, increasing lines, it's human. Like when people act like there's a way to like not have that. I don't know, girly, like if you got some Botox, but you know, if you have expressions, lines are gonna be there. I wanna do my best to be sure foundations where I need it to be 
And then I take it on the dry sponge. Basically like pick it up and like take off the excess and kind of make sure like it's in the sponge. And uh, I'm gonna hit kind of where I want the most powder first. I forgot blush. Mm, I'm a mess. Hit the areas that need it most immediately. And the more hydrated or creamy, like kind of the way you prep, the products you're using, the better powders are gonna like grab and be on the skin. So you definitely wanna consider, like for me, I'm very oily and I prepped with a pretty hydrating base. And this Maybelline foundation, it's not super dry really. So the powder has something to eat up and like kind of soak into, so that's good. But if you're using something super dry, say like, Maybe, maybe the Fenty if you are dry. You know, you just want to be mindful of how much oil you produce, how creamy like your base is, and like gauge how much powder to apply from there. Because if you apply too much powder on a base that's very dry, you're gonna look dead, and there's nowhere for the powder to go but to eat up your skin and to show everyone your little bits of texture, all your little imperfections. And if you try to add any powder over that finishing, like you're gonna look disgusting so just something to be mindful of not everyone can use as much powder as i am and that's okay but i'm using this the way i would like my fenty just kind of an initial finishing powder a bit of brightening in the center of my face and i'm being sure since the mattes can be a little bit sticky and i'm using a dry sponge it might grab on very easily and make the makeup patchy so i'm trying to make sure you know, there's powder on my sponge as I go along. Again, I'm very oily. My base was prepped right, so I'm able to press it in all over. My skin will eat up this powder and just leave me with that finish of the bit of brightening. I'm so disturbed, like I'm really doing my face routine without my Fenty, but we're making do. If you're really oily, if you want your makeup to wear well, just make sure you get your makeup in all the little crevices that will expose the oil the texture, the mess. So that's the first little bit of powder. And just with like a clean brush, I'm kind of taking away a little excess. But like I said, this will all be eaten up right away with my oils. And then I take cashew from Venti, which I have plenty of, but I take that on the outer perimeters of my face. I love this brush. I love e.l.f. brushes. A lot of people ask for like a favorite brush type of video. But honestly, whatever you can get your hands on. But e.l.f. like has a lot of great brushes. I work it into the brush again. You don't want like a bunch. This is a little bit more tan than my skin tone. But again, same kind of thing where I'm like everything overlaps a bit. But bronzing with this, if you just want to use it on its own, it's dippling. It's like a really nice little glow to the skin because this Fenty powder is like one of a kind type of finish, type of texture. It's really really pretty. I think the colors are really great. Sometimes powders, like, I'm sorry, but the Maybelline ones, I love Maybelline. I don't know what it is with those colors for the powders. They're not all that. But I also like the Fenty because otherwise I feel like, you know, what a lot of people know is like set your creams with a powder and a lot of people go for like straight up translucent powders and the Laura Mercier on its own, it just doesn't look good. <laughs> just doesn't look great. If you want your makeup to last all day, the way you would apply that and the way it would look like on its own, it's just not the best my skin has looked. I've tried, I've tried. I didn't finish what I was saying about the Fenty powder, but I just want to say it's perfect. You can find use of whether it's like for brightening or for all over your face, but it's just like a little tinge of color but it gives you like a super blurred look to the skin. It makes my skin look so smooth for no reason. I don't know what the sorcery is, but it's just bomb and the texture is so thin so you don't ever get a kiki look. I can't stand skin that looks dry and like cardboard, you know? So the Fenty is perfect for touch-ups, for initial setting, for a little hint of brightness. It's just flawless, show-stopping, never been done before. The best advice I can give for like your makeup, just like watch what you're doing, like where you're putting product, how it's distributing product. Sometimes like if I'm in a hurry or if I'm anxious or like even right now, 
like kind of being out of my element and not always thinking about the process but you want to watch what you're doing see what works for you that's the only way you'll ever know and then so my face is set i'll kind of let it set in not spray anything just kind of like let the little bit of excess up there just like let my oils eat it up like i was saying for my everyday and i'll get into my lips later but my go-to is the maybelline lipstick in foreigner the superstay matte ink this this is a red that really like just livens up your skin tone like it looks so good and the texture of this lipstick is just really comfortable for all day you kind of can't apply too much just like at this point i know where i'm going with my lip shape but if you don't just go in with the lip liner first and then follow through with this it's like full color not patchy it's a little bit a sticky texture and has a little bit of a sheen to it but honestly it just looks the best for all day and i normally use this for blush if you've been watching for a second you know i love red like lipstick as blush i'd normally like apply it pretty high right here just like a good clean blush at this point i'm gonna take a break but i'm gonna use my rose water from pacifica let it get acquainted with my powders i'm gonna go to the bathroom oh yeah you want a mukbang Before anyone wants to say anything, my eye is watery. For everyday lip, I'm super lazy. I go for this a lot. I'll do lip liner. I'll do like cork. I blend it down and give me a lip line, give me a little hydration, and that's it. But I'll do like Fenty Gloss, Pat McGrath, or like a lip balm. I'll do my Carmex. the face i kind of had to rush for a second and as far as like second layer of powders after the fit me i bake a little bit just in the center kind of right here on my nose and then touch up every now and then with my foundation powder like through my application when i can feel it getting tacky like my oil is coming through <laughs> For the eyes, I just throw on bronzer. I went between Private Island and Bahasian Bahasian girl. I really have super hooded eyes and I hate eye makeup. My, I'm very oily. My eye leaks. I just can't be bothered. So I really like to bronze up this area. I take it super high and then depth right here. Pull it out here when I'm like, you know, snatch like this. super like i love madonna's like eyes that moment she had in the 90s where it was just like groaning dark was really impactful so it's 1 30 right now and i'll show you guys how it wears through the evening it is currently 10 39 in the evening so all i've done all day i just got home i cleaned up this outer corner because this eye bleeds a lot but that's all i've done other than blot Proof is in the pudding. Let me think. How many hours is that? I'm like nine hours. I'm not gonna do a close up because like I actually like was sweating. It's a hot day. But yeah. And then easily you could take a look to nighttime if you were to go out. Oh my god. Why did I spray myself? Like these earrings won't tarnish. 
But here's the wear test. Hope y'all like it. Hope y'all enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't. I really appreciate it. See you next time.